Princess Alexandra, the Honorable Lady Ogilvy, is regarded as one of the most respected and beloved members of the British royal family. Born on December 25, 1936, she grew up at the heart of royal life, surrounded by traditions and culture that instilled in her a deep sense of duty and devotion from an early age. As a first cousin to Queen Elizabeth II, Alexandra is a key figure in the history of the monarchy throughout the 20th and 21st centuries. However, despite her high rank and numerous public duties, she has always remained a person of great warmth, known for her sincerity and genuine care for those she serves. From childhood, Princess Alexandra was raised with an emphasis on the values and traditions integral to the British crown. Her father, the Duke of Kent, was the brother of King George VI, while her mother, Princess Marina of Greece and Denmark, hailed from ancient royal dynasties. This unique combination of bloodlines from two great monarchies endowed Alexandra not only with a profound sense of responsibility, but also with a distinctive charisma. Even in her youth, she stood out among her peers, not only for her regal bearing, but also for her genuine desire to help others, which later manifested in her many charitable endeavors. Princess Alexandra has been actively involved in royal life, representing the family at numerous official events and fulfilling significant diplomatic missions. Her visits abroad, participation in ceremonies and celebrations have consistently been met with enthusiastic public reception. Yet despite the fanfare surrounding these grand events, Alexandra has always preferred modesty and composure in her private life. Her marriage to Englishman Sir Angus Ogilvy in 1963 was not just a union of love, but an example of how a royal figure can follow her heart rather than political considerations. Beyond her substantial public achievements and charitable work, one of Princess Alexandra's most striking qualities has always been her style. She has remained an icon of elegance, renowned for her impeccable taste and refined fashion sense. Of course, a significant aspect of her image is her exquisite jewelry each piece with its own unique story and meaning. Let's start with the Princess Marina's Pearl Bandeau Tiara. According to the renowned Geoffrey Munn, the original necklace bandeau, which now features 15 diamond snakes guarding their pearl eggs, along with a pair of earrings crafted from two additional pieces, was a wedding gift from the legendary Grand Duchess Vladimir to her daughter, Grand Duchess Elena Vladimirovna of Russia, on her marriage to Prince Nicholas of Greece in 1902, although it may have been given a few years later. The most notable depiction of Princess Nicholas wearing the pearl necklace as a bandeau tiara can be seen in several formal portraits taken in the 1910s. When Princess Marina of Greece and Denmark married Prince George, Duke of Kent, in 1934, she received the pearl bandeau tiara as a wedding gift from her mother, Grand Duchess Elena Vladimirovna. Princess Marina began wearing her pearl bandeau tiara shortly after her marriage. By the 1960s, Princess Marina started lending her pearl bandeau tiara to her daughter, Princess Alexandra of Kent. After Marina's passing, the pearl bandeau tiara became one of the few jewels inherited by Princess Alexandra, who wore the bandeau just weeks later during an official visit to Sweden. Eventually, sometime in the 1970s, Princess Alexandra sold the pearl bandeau tiara, and more recently, it appeared at auction as a necklace with two former earring elements. Now, let's take a look at the stunning Golden Jubilee necklace of Princess Alexandra. The necklace, adorned with clusters of diamonds surrounding either pearls or turquoise, leads to a central cluster from which hangs a pear-shaped pearl or turquoise. This design is almost an exact replica of Queen Victoria's Diamond Jubilee necklace, minus the central crown. While Leslie Field claims the necklace was a wedding gift from the Honorable Angus Ogilvy to the princess, originally containing only pearls, it was later adapted for turquoise when they were also added to the Ogilvy tiara. Princess Alexandra began wearing the necklace around 1967. She wore the necklace in both its pearl and turquoise versions at a variety of events throughout the 1970s, 80s, and 90s, ranging from gala evenings and banquets to less formal occasions. The necklace was notably worn at a gala performance of Madame Butterfly in memory of the late Sir Angus a few months after his death and it was last seen publicly at the dinner celebrating the Prince of Wales' 60th birthday in 2008. However, it has not been seen publicly in years, though, as we recently saw with her pearl corsage brooch, Princess Alexandra may surprise us with its reappearance at any time. Let's move on to Princess Alexandra's pearl and diamond necklace. This exquisite piece features two rows of diamonds from which hang three pear-shaped pearls and two diamond pendants of unknown origin. 
It is possible that it was inherited from Queen Mary, who was depicted wearing a similar item. However, it is also likely that the necklace was either acquired specifically for Princess Alexandra, or may have originated from the legendary Vladimir collection, with all its pearls having been passed down from Princess Alexandra's grandmother, Grand Duchess Elena Vladimirovna, who was married to Prince Nicholas of Greece. The necklace first made its public appearance on the then 16-year-old Princess Alexandra during the coronation of her cousin, Queen Elizabeth II, in 1953. It was also worn for a series of portraits taken by Cecil Beaton around the same time. As Princess Alexandra matured and became a full-fledged member of the royal family, the pearl and diamond necklace began to be worn more frequently. She continued to don this elegant piece into the early 1960s, particularly pairing it with the Kent Festoon tiara and the Emperor Frederick Pearl brooch when Nigeria gained independence in 1960. The necklace was also featured alongside her pearl earrings and the diamond stars of Queen Olga for another series of portraits captured by Cecil Beaton. However, around the time of her marriage, despite receiving her Ogilvy pearl and diamond tiara, which would have beautifully complemented the necklace, the piece seemingly vanished from public view and was no longer worn openly. Its fate remains a mystery. It may have been sold, stolen, or broken down into other pieces of jewelry. Ultimately, the final destiny of Princess Alexandra's pearl and diamond necklace remains unknown. Let's take a look at the Emperor Frederick pearl brooch, which also came into Princess Alexandra's possession. This exquisite corsage brooch, adorned with pearls, features an elaborate diamond element with a large round pearl that can suspend one, three, or five additional pearls. Its exact origins remain unclear, but it is likely derived from a pearl and diamond corsage brooch gifted to her by Queen Elizabeth of Prussia as a wedding present. Empress Frederick was depicted wearing this brooch in a series of portraits from the 1890s, long after she had become a widow. After her passing in 1901, the brooch was inherited by her daughter, Queen Sophia of Greece, who was often seen wearing it alongside her diamond tiara and diamond circlet in the early 1900s and 1910s. However, the brooch was not worn publicly after the Greek royal family frequently went into exile in 1917 and again in 1922. The fate of Empress Frederick's pearl corsage brooch after Queen Sophia's death remains uncertain. However, at some point between the 1920s and the mid-1950s, Princess Alexandra of Kent began to wear the pearl corsage brooch. A hard-working member of the royal family for over 65 years, Princess Alexandra often paired the brooch with the Kent Festoon tiara, notably when she presided over Nigeria's Independence Day celebrations in 1960. Throughout the 1960s and 1970s, she frequently wore the brooch with three or five pendants. In recent years, however, it has rarely been seen. The last public appearance was during the American State Banquet last year when she donned her Ogilvy tiara. This gives us hope that Empress Frederick's pearl corsage brooch will continue to grace public occasions for many years to come. Which piece of jewelry did you like the most?